Okay. Hey, Jacob, how are you? Good. How you doing? Yeah. Well, I mean, we just saw you out there, and uh, you're in a, a 43940. Uh, was that the range you were hoping to? Did you surpass your expectations with that one? Uh, I didn't surpass my expectations. Um, you know, me personally, I wanted to, you know, run a little bit, a little bit faster than that, but I'm happy with how the day went. Um, you know, there's not much I can, can complain about, so. <laughs> Jacob, what sort of mentality did you come into this whole process, you know, going into this pro day? And, and do you feel like, you know, you, you have done enough maybe to impress the scouts out there? I definitely um, felt that, you know, I helped myself out today. Um, my mentality coming into this and, um, you know, I kept it the same mentality as I did the CGS earlier this year was, you know, this is, this is what I do on a daily basis. Um, you know, bigger stage, but it's nothing new. And, you know, this is, this is what I love doing. I just, just have fun out there. Um, I, I believe that's what I did today. Hey, Jacob, Nick Fair about Pittsburgh Sports. Now, I'm really interested in your background. You know, you you were yeah. a soccer guy um, before yeah. you were a football guy. So, like, how has that uh, just helped you as a receiver, as whatever you're doing in space? How has soccer kind of helped you? And, you know, you're just starting – you just played football, I mean, only a few years ago. Yeah. How has that learning experience been kind of, how are you training your skill set? Because the raw skills, I mean, they're clearly very good. <laughs> um, you know, soccer translated pretty well to uh, football as far as, you know, the footwork aspect, you know, learning routes, cuts and breaks. Um, you know, it's something, everything that, you know, I just explained, I can get a lot better at still learning, um, you know, but also with field awareness, um, you know, knowing how close I am to the sideline and, you know, knowing, you know, defensive structures and where, you know, guys are lined up and where they're at. So, you know, I feel like, you know, that has all translated over as far as um, from soccer to football and, um, you know, the running, the running aspect, you know, soccer is a lot of running. Football is, you got to be in a different shape for football, but I felt like, you know, um, to push through, you know, long games, um, back to back, you know, series, you know, I felt like that, that stamina had helped a lot. Jacob, is it possible for you to be in better shape? And if so, how? <laughs> definitely. Um, <laughs> I can definitely be in better shape, you know, as long, just continue what I'm doing, uh, dieting, eating healthy, um, you know, training, getting getting in there every day, just work on the little things that I got to do. And, um, you know, ultimately just make sure my body is as healthy as possible, make sure I'm recovering well. And um, yeah, no, I, I definitely think, you know, I can, can improve in everything that I've done. Hey, Jacob, how are we doing today? Good, doing well. That's awesome to hear. Um, just kind of who have you leaned on throughout this process, whether it be, you know, former players, teammates, uh, current players in the NFL that you've been able to kind of pick their brain and, and prepare for, you know, not only the pro day, but the whole pre-draft and draft process. Uh, and have you spoken with the Buccaneers at all during the pre-draft pre draft process? Um, I haven't spoken. We lost you there. Oh, we muted. Yeah. Sorry, where, where'd you? Yeah, guys... uh, the entire question. Um, <laughs> who have you leaned on, and and have you spoken with the Buccaneers? Okay, uh, I haven't. I haven't spoken with the Buccaneers uh, too much. If I have, you know, it was maybe a brief conversation once um, so far. But um, you know, as far as who I've leaned on. Gabe Davis um, since day one and uh, Trey Nixon, you know, Trey, me and Trey are going through the same process, same exact time. So, you know, we've kind of have leaned on each other. Um, I would say, you know, through our training, you know, he was in Arizona, I was in Denver, but, um, you know, we made sure to stay in touch, you know, frequently um, push each other, you know, even though we're not training together, you know, we still have that same mentality, you know, to push each other every day. And, you know, I had Rod Smith out there, um, you know, helping me out as well, you know, as a guy, I was picking his brain every day, um, you know, learning from a legend like that from the Broncos. Absolutely. Best of luck on your journey. Thank you. Hey, Jacob, I know you said uh, about the you have only been playing football for like a short period of time. Yep. Do you view that as an advantage for yourself because you are so raw still that like you have the ability to change your game? Definitely. Um, I take that as an advantage just because, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm so new to the game still. There's a lot more that I can learn. 
um, and, you know, adjust to. And I take that as an advantage compared to, you know, some guys who have been playing their whole lives. Um, I'm still moldable, you know, I can still go, you know, either way that I need to go. And, um, you know, if I need to play tight end, I'll go play tight end. If I need, you know, stay at receiver, stay at receiver. Um, special teams is always there as well. But, you know, I feel like there's so much more that I've got to learn. And I use that to my advantage, you know, just to continue to learn and, um, you know, improve in my game. Uh, Jacob, here is Matheus Arnelas from Time Off here in Brazil. Uh, congratulations for your pro day and going for the NFL. So Thank here you. in Brazil, we, we love soccer. So I kind of have to do this question. Uh, you have some player that you really like to watch uh, yes. football, not, not necessarily Brazilian player, but some player that you really like. And, and talking about football, what's your player that you really like to watch some tape, even for like be a better player or just like loving to watch? Um, it's funny you say Brazil because uh, Neymar, I, I grew, you know, to be a big fan of Neymar. Um, you know, in my late years of soccer, growing up when I was really little, um, I was a big fan of uh, Ronaldinho. But um, I would say, you know, my the guy who's playing right now that I look up to, you know, as far as from the soccer aspect is Neymar. Um, from a young age, he's just been killing it. And 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 football level, sorry, uh, you have what player in football you really like to watch in, in the NFL or a former player that you, you like to watch? I think so. I'm good. Um, and football, and you know, I'm from Tampa, the Tampa Bay area, so I grew up watching the Bucks um, every Sunday as well. And Mike Evans, um, you know, a guy who's similar stature. Um, plays big. Uh, he's a guy, you know, that's been really inspirational to me. And, um, you know, right now, you know, DK is killing it over in Seattle as well. You know, bigger receiver, just, you know, a couple guys that I like to watch a lot. Thank you. Good luck during the process. Thank you. How you doing, young man? Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Good. Uh, you're a bit of an anomaly. You haven't been playing football for a while, but your catch radius is incredible. Your size and speed it's not normal. We're not used to seeing prototypes like you. Yeah. So if you had words of encouragement to a defensive back guarding you, what would you tell them? Um, press me if you're confident. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I can I can take the top off at any time. So and that's that's my favorite uh, play, you know, is going deep, making a big play. So, um, you know, if, I, if a DB was guarding me, that's the first thing I would say. If you're going to press me, be ready to run with me. Hey, here, uh, hey, Jacob, here, Gonzalo from No Hadley in Argentina. My question is, uh, which are your goals uh, during this next month? What do you think uh, you, you can improve? And also, uh, next to the, to the draft, uh, what, what are your general goals to to, to entering in this process, uh, in this, uh, that process. Yeah, good, you know, going to the next level, um, you know, not not trying to make it bigger than it is, you know, at the end of the day, it's the same same game, just at a higher level. Um, so, you know, just going in, just making sure, you know, I keep my confidence up. Um, you know, I can always, you know, work on my consistency. That's something that, you know, I've always been working on throughout my whole career. And, you know, I feel like I can continue to get better at that. And that's something that I will continue to get better at. But as far as, you know, just what I can work on is, you know, just consistency and then making sure I'm keeping my confidence up, you know, making sure that, you know, there's a reason why, you know, I got the opportunity or will get the opportunity to, to you know, play at the next level. Uh, hey, Jacob, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, Brandon Olson from whole nine sports here. Uh, first thing, sick tattoo. Um, second Thank thing, uh, what's your development been like as someone who started their career as a walk on at Western Kentucky? Um, you know, my development has been, um, it's been really fun. Um, you know, I, I spent two years or one year um, with the scout team, you know, so that first year, 2017, I was ineligible. So, you know, I was going against guys like Mike Hughes, uh, Navelle Clark, Shaquem Griffin, you know, on a daily basis. Um, you know, you're going against top guys like that. Um, you got no choice but to get better or, um, you know, to get left in the dirt. And then 
um, you know, coming into 2018, you know, and just embracing special teams. Um, you know, I felt like that side of the, the game has really, you know, helped translate to receiver, you know, just bringing out that grittiness and um, that want to, you know, um, special teams is, is really big, you know, on want to. So, um, you know, I think those aspects early on in the game have really helped, you know, form my mindset and, um, you know, my drive for, you know, getting better at receiver. Jacob, obviously the focus for you has been wide receiver, but a few minutes ago you said you're open maybe to playing tight end. Is that something that some people have brought up with you? Can you talk more about that possibility? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's kind of split right now, um, you know, <clears throat> as far as what I'll be used as at the next level. You know, I could be a wide receiver. I could be a tight end just because of my frame and my size. Um, you know, obviously I'd have to put on, you know, a little bit more weight, but it's something that, you know, I've done in the past and I'm not opposed to, but, um, you know, I'll, I'm most likely going to be a special teams contributor, you know, early on, which, you know, I embrace that role. So I just think, you know, my biggest asset right now is my versatility. Um, you know, you can throw me anywhere. Um, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to embrace that role. My right, last question from Matt. Jake, if you talked about kind of, you know, liking Mike Evans, you know, his playability, his game a little bit. Obviously, you're a Tampa guy from the Tampa area. What would it mean if somehow you could get drafted by the Bucks? If you could find a way on the Bucks team, considering the last time you played college football was was in the uh, was in Raymond James Stadium. Yeah. Um, you know that that would that would mean a lot. You know, to my family, I know that for one. Um, you know, everyone's from you know the Tampa Bay area. Um, you know, we're Pinellas County. 20 minutes from the stadium. So, you know, that'd be nice, you know, just, you know, have family that, you know, can come to games, you know, don't have to really, you know, travel far. Um, that would be, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing about that. Um, because, you know, I'm a Tampa boy. I'd love to go to Tampa, but I'm open to going anywhere. It doesn't matter where I land, but, um, you know, it'd be, it'd be, I would say it'd be the biggest uh, excitement for the family, you know, if I land in Tampa. All right. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you guys.